give yourself the moral high ground and try to round us up. We're going to do what we have to. In fact, when you guys read me Lexington Green, uh, Lexington Green or Bunker Hill, I forget which one's the speech, where they got the preacher that's leading the militia and up marks the Redcoats to confiscate the guns. And he says, don't fire unless fired upon. But if they mean to have a war, they will have one. That's Lexington Green. I mean, this is real, folks. But the Redcoats might have won the war if they were more sophisticated, but they were moral people on average. Naval was the main group that would do stage stuff. because That was such a more dirty profession, much more dangerous on average. False flags came out of naval activity. Going back to the Romans is some of the first dated ones of frame-ups. The, 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 the British would not burn down a church and blame it on the militia. The British would not stage a terror attack and blame it on the militia to give them moral high ground to take the guns. They just marched up and said, you bastard colonialists, throw down your arms or you're dead. And then screamed out, one more time, we're going to fire. And then you know the rest is history, folks. And that's what it all comes down to. Now, here's the good news. I've told you the demographics in Spain, in France, in Germany, in Portugal, in Greece, in Canada, in the U.S., in England. UKIP's the fastest growing party in England. Fastest growing party in the EU. Problem is the EU is unelected at the top, so even though it's a parliament, it's ceremonial. <coughs> That's what a naked tyranny the EU is, but, but Nigel Farage and others, the Ron Paul of Europe, are in there exposing it. But libertarianism demographically is about to become the global majority as people just keep getting the same out of fake conservatives and fake liberals because the globalists have bought off the interest at both levels. That's why you have Boehner and Obama meeting and it gets leaked with, with uh, Biden about the Tea Party and the Republican Party is giving money to beat the Tea Party and the Democrats are giving money to beat the Tea Party because the real Tea Party, not the one the neocons try to take over, not, not the one they tried to bring in, not their counterfeit, but the real Libertarian Party is decriminalization of drugs that liberals like, pro-sovereignty, not for open borders, anti-big welfare, anti-corporate welfare, anti-police state, pro-Second Amendment, pro-low taxes, pro-prosperity, pro-Americana. It's not right-wing, it's not left-wing, it's America. It is fusing people together and is sexy. In Hollywood, folks, I don't care if the people are black, white, Jewish, or Italian. I don't care if they're an Irish filmmaker, who they are. They listen to this show or other shows like it and are hot for liberty because they're not allowed to have it. Now, I'm going to cover that in a moment. John Singleton, who's a great director and actor, says studios ain't letting black people tell stories, unveils Tupac biopic plans, says so-called liberals are trying to control black people. That's the term I coined, so-called liberals, 18 years ago. They're not liberals. I bet money on them, the barrel head. Mr. Singleton's a listener. I want somebody to get a hold of him and get him on. Now, continuing, ladies and gentlemen, that's absolutely right. And I know, I've been there in meetings with directors. And all they want to talk about is the New World Order and how they're not allowed to talk about it. You think they like having to play games and have to deceive everybody and have to play along with the New World Order? You think people like that? They want freedom. Everybody wants freedom who's got red blood. And that's what unifies us. Here's the Financial Times of London on this line. It says Republicans demographically are taking over and that the polls show they're going to sweep the House, the Senate, the governorships. The problem is if it's not a libertarian conversion, this will just discredit the Republicans. I've looked at the numbers and demographically, physically, the Democrats will win and the Republicans will become a minority uh, for whites because they're branding it as white only. And if that conversion works, if we let the Democrats brand it as racial, which it isn't, that's why they're doing it. They will then win. We have to take over the Republican Party now, not let it commit suicide. It won't be perfect, but we need to support the libertarian constitutionalist. And then we can force the Democrats to come back more towards constitutionalism, not towards the right, more towards free market. And then we can save the country. But the, the Democrats, the socialists, and the foreign banks want to fully wreck the country now forever so they can reorganize it with a Marshall Plan, Cloward and Piven, just like they do in third world countries or in Eastern Europe. Demographic, uh, demographic and other factors are against the grand old party, but its electoral hopes are high. And then it goes over the facts. This is one of the most important battles right now. 
and Obama has blown up in their face big time. Same thing's happening in France. I'm going to tell you about that, then play the clip of the director Singleton about how the Democrats want to have the culture of black people be some pot-bellied guy talking in gangster voices, you know, beating his girlfriend. Right now at Emergency Essentials, get free shipping on every order over $150. And that's not all. We have the guaranteed lowest prices anywhere, like our new Farmer's Market Vegetable Combo that's on sale for 50% off. That's six cans of freeze-dried veggies for only $79.99. Or get Mountain House Pork Chops for 22% off. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or click BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Do you really know how pure your water is? It's taken for granted that bottled water and even home filtered water is pure, but it is not the purest water you can drink. There is only one way to get the purest water, and that's with a new appliance that no healthy kitchen should be without, an H2O Labs countertop home water system. Go to h2olabs.com to order yours now, and you will be drinking the purest water you've ever had, guaranteed. Go to h2olabs.com. That's h2olabs.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. So, Dad, you're sounding a lot better. How have you been feeling since your heart attack? Well, son, I am feeling a lot better. Ever since your sister ordered me a bottle of Heart Drop 2000's Extendivite for my heart. Heart Drop? Extendivite? What's that? Well, it, it's just seven herbs that are approved for helping keep my heart healthy. That's great, Dad. I was getting worried about you. I am so glad it's helping. So am I, son. I'm very glad your sister got it for me. I wish I had a known about it before my heart attack. Yeah, but would you have taken it, though? You know, I'm not sure if I would have, but I'm awful glad I'm taking it now. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extend Over. 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. I want to know your take on all the news I've been covering, specifically the fact that another Homeland Security document out about how to wage war against those that don't like, quote, socialist tyranny and martial law. Those documents, they don't want you to read or see all 160 plus pages that are highly restricted to trusted members of Homeland Security, trusted traitors. They're up on InfoWars.com right now. 
So now everybody else can see it in the government. See, our job is to decompartmentalize the larger master plan. And you notice, just like clockwork, we've been doing it. We've been very accurate. And then it's your job, folks, to do something about it. The strange revival of Republican America. Demographic and other factors are against the grand old party, but its electoral hopes are high. Toll free number to join us, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. First time callers I should throw in today, at least in this hour, 800-259-9231. For years, people have predicted the Republican Party's demise, the decline of whites. See, they let the Democrats brand them as a white-only party when they'd been the white party. The decline of whites as a share of the U.S. population and the sp spread of tolerant values. Yes, like give me all your bank account. Such a support for gay marriage would gradually snuff out its appeal. Yet the grand old party has a stubborn way of bouncing back. The coming midterm elections in November are unlikely to be an exception. While Republican field for the next election looks stronger than any other time since 2000, tomorrow may indeed arrive at some point. But for the time being, today is going pretty well for the Republicans. That's because you could run a ham sandwich or a dead dog up against the Democrats and it would win. If we had real leadership and libertarian ideas and let the states decide all the gay marriage, business, and football issues and abortion... And again, those are real issues, but they use it to pass it back and forth and divert from everything else. As Ron Paul says, that's a state issue. And the states are moving, of course, to ban abortion because that's common sense. And you stop letting the Democrats, a bunch of kleptocratic scum, have the high ground. With their race-based politics. Now, shift gears to people that are about 20 years ahead of us when it comes to socialism. The Frenchies. Beautiful country, great culture, amazing art. Their suicide rate's the highest in Europe. They're an absolute joke. Things are falling apart. French far-right triumphs in local polls that hammer ruling socialists. The socialists are exempt from taxes. They have Swiss bank accounts. Nobody gets in trouble. They have 100-plus percent tax on middle class to get rid of the middle class. Of course you're going to have the 100 percent tax if the elite is exempt. They want all your money. They want to get rid of their competition. They want it, you poor, so you got to get a government handout, which will mean they can social engineer you. So every time there's local elections, the extreme right wing that's about as conservative as somebody like John Boehner. I mean, it's, it's, I mean over there they call total communism, total end of the family is reasonable. Uh, anyone that believes men should even be able to tie their shoelaces or be a father as total fascist right wing evil. And that's how they control the debate. Uh, but more and more, they're winning in local elections because the country is being destroyed under the kleptocratic socialists. They're not even socialists. France's far-right National Front Party dealt a major blow to the ruling socialist Sunday after several of its candidates took prime positions in the first round of local elections. The main center-right opposition, UMP Party, has hailed a big victory, as initial estimates showed. It came out uh, and triumphed in the elections as President Hollande suffers... Record unpopularity against a backdrop of near zero growth and high unemployment. It doesn't matter because the French, many of them don't even know how to work now in the cities. And they brought in foreigners who will vote for any amount of socialism for welfare. That's the socialist Cloward and Piven model. And it's worked quite nicely. Because they don't care if it wrecks the society. Because the Rothschilds that run France are tax exempt along with the rest of the globalists. Very simple. Very, very simple, ladies and gentlemen, how this equation works. You, I mean, what they need is another de Gaulle there who isn't left wing or right wing, but is a nationalist to create French pride again, cut taxes massively, promote French having kids and have some pride in yourselves and bring your country back. Watching the French commit suicide is disgusting. And watching America adopt an anti-French stance because British intelligence took us over completely in 1947 to have some ancient anti-French enmity when the French helped get this country started just because the British aristocracy does when they're really French to begin with. Norman, that's Viking French. The Vikings conquered France. So the Norman are a Viking French derivative. I'm Alsatian, part Alsatian. I mean, you know, the whole point is this is ridiculous to be anti-French. But French, find your life force again. Get up.
Don't commit suicide. Kick the socialist scum out. Get rid of the French Revolution. Bring in a real revolution, a family. We'll be back. We're on the march.